Daniel Radcliffe. Didn't see this coming. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Guns Akimbo. It's an Amazon Prime movie starring Daniel Radcliffe. And I'm actually shocked that he did a movie like this. He works for a video game company. He's a coder. Um, but he does like a stupid little squirrel game that he hates. Uh, his favorite thing to do is to talk trash and troll people online. He just gets into chat rooms and talks a lot of trash. One day he stumbles across this website. It's called Schism. And Schism is a site that makes people fight to the death. Uh, it's sort of like Death Race, but with real with no in, uh, explanation about why they're doing it. You just see these two people with cameras following them around and they fight to the death. Uh, the, the star of the schism is this girl named Nyx. She's some woman that we ended up following. Uh, so Radcliffe's character decides, hey, I'm gonna troll this website. There's a lot of weirdos here. I'm gonna troll them. And they find out where he lives. So the next day, they come to him. They kidnap him. And they put guns on his hands. Two guns. They bolt guns into his hands. And now he's in the game. And he has to fight Nyx. And it's basically, if he kills her, he can go free. If she kills him, her contract her contract is done. It's so much senseless action. It's funny. I, I don't think it was meant to be really funny. But I was laughing at a lot of moments. Uh, particularly when he accidentally fires his gun. Uh, the counter pops up on screen, you know, when he loses a bullet, you know, 40, 39, 38, etc. So moments like that was funny. Him trying to explain things to people with two guns in his hand is funny. And then when Nix is trying to kill him, everything he does is hilarious because he's trying to get away, but he has guns on his hands. So he's hurting people as he's trying to get away by accident. Um, eventually, he gets really good using his guns. I don't know how. And I don't know how Nyx is this assassin. She looks really young, but she's good at killing people. And it's a couple of montages where she goes around and she kills a lot of people in different ways, which is cool. It's a silly movie at heart. But as the story progressed, it started to make more sense in terms of building another movie. You know, the guy who's in charge of Schism, he's not a real threat because he's really old. But he has this plan to make it go global and there's different uh i guess networks and offices where schism lives so in terms of a sequel there's something building towards that as a villain he's kind of useless and pointless because all he does is just boss other people around he doesn't really do anything intimidating but i, I really want to applaud daniel ratcliffe for his performance because he was really funny you know and i, I know he has that harry potter thing but I enjoyed him in this movie. He 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 had the comedy chops. He had the action when he needed to be. He had the one-liners. And it's honestly a really cool movie. I didn't think it was going to be this fun. I just thought it was going to be real crazy. But I enjoyed it. Guns Akimbo, Amazon Prime. I say check it out. If you want some action, if you want to see Daniel Radcliffe do something very different, this is a movie for you. Thank you for listening. Deuces. <laughs>